Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am the psychic, the medium, the channel, Tony Green. Welcome to the show. I'm so happy all of you are here with me today. Um, so just for everybody new, if you are live on YouTube, you can post a question in the YouTube. Yeah. If you want to call in and ask a question, the number is 845-277-9131. I'll be answering questions. I ask that you have one specific question. Please don't um, ask a question and then say, can I have one more? I don't want to be the person that has to say no, but I have to be the person that has to say no because there's always a ton of people waiting for a question. It's just not fair to everybody waiting. So one specific question about life, love, career, finances, yaddy daddy daddy, da daddy daddy, and or one connection to a loved one on the other side. If you do have a lot of questions, please feel free to book a session. I'm always happy to do sessions for people. I can typically get people in within the same week and answer all of, I mean, just all of your questions. If you would like to call in, again, that call in number is 845-277-9131. Or you can join us live on YouTube. I record every single week, twice a week, every Monday at noon central. And the second show used to be on Wednesday during the day. Now it's in the evening. Uh, we might be playing with that. If you want to know when I go live, um, just, you know, wherever, if you're listening to me on um, a podcast, a radio station, a uh, because the show does air on um, streaming stations, TV stations, radio stations, almost every single podcast, YouTube, and blog talk. So wherever you're listening, if you can hit that follow or whatever button so you know when I'm popping up. Marla Martinson, the mystical matchmaker, and I have been doing a lot of pop-up shows. Her, um, She's going through some personal things with her mom. So we have not been able to do a show that uh, we've been planning, but as soon as uh, she is, you know, some of that has um, recovered for her, we will be doing shows again together. Okay, um, I, one last little PSA. I will never, ever, 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 and never, ever reach out to you and say you need a reading, cash at me, blah -dee -da, -dee da None of that is going to happen. Never, ever, 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 ever. Okay. All righty. Um, I want to thank everybody already on YouTube chatting with me. Love it so much. Love you guys so much. I did two clearings, three clearings. <laughs> on TikTok this morning. It was three, not two, three. Um, and the first one was, I well, I don't even remember what they are, but they were good. I remember doing them going, oh, this is a goodie. This is yummy. Very yummy. Okay, so if you want to go over to TikTok, listen to those healings or clearings, yeah, baby. Okay, I start with songs. I go, no, names, songs, and then whatever else pops out, pops out. So the first uh, name I'm hearing is, again, Jackie or Jacko. That was last week's. Isabella and Marisol, 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 Marisol. Marisol. And then the next name I'm hearing is, um, no, oh, sorry, for the people who are new, the name, it can be your name, it can be the name of a loved one on the other side. Mary Beth, Lindsay, Lynn, um, 
Richard. More Maurice, M A U R I C E. Maurice, I think that's how you say that. L Louis, Louis or Louis, L O U I S E. Um, Margaret, Margaret, Maggie, Margaret, Maggie, I'm getting, and then um, Angela or Angie. Okay, I'm going to go straight into songs, straight into the songs. For those of you who have not been here before, I apologize for my singing. I apologize for all of it. I cannot sing on beat. I cannot sing in tune. I just cannot sing, <laughs> but this is the way spirit works with me. So this is what I do. It's really good for my humility too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That song. It was, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna, if you do want to call in again, the number is 845-277-9131. I'm going to try to get to everybody. Um, the first song that I'm getting, oh my gosh, not again. Comma, 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 chameleon, you come and go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, that's not in the song, I know. I don't care. Um, the next song is um, Dancing Queen. She's a dancing queen. Okay, and a Stevie Nicks, anything Stevie Nicks. Now, again, these could be songs that you knew, you listened to, they listened to, or answers to a question. Um, for somebody out there, okay, so for somebody out there, I am getting messages. I know I normally do this segment, just um, songs, but I'm hearing, tell them, he, tell them they're a player. So somebody out there has a question if a guy is being, or a girl, and you're going to know if this is for you, don't make it fit if it doesn't. Someone is a player. My, a shocking, right? Shocking in today's world. Somebody would be a player, but somebody is. Uh, um so then the next thing, the next song that I'm hearing is um, uh, Joan Jett, Joan Jett, um, and it was me, yeah, me, singing, I love rock and roll, put another dime in the jukebox, baby, I love rock and roll. We're going to leave that one there because I think you got it. I think you got it. And then Janet Jackson, which I am trying really hard to think, to hear the song they're giving, but they're just saying Janet Jackson, the person that this is for is going to know right away. That song that is meant for them is going to pop in. And if I didn't say the name earlier, Elizabeth, the name Elizabeth is being flashed in front of my eyes. And then I'm going to do two more songs, only two more songs. Um, that song, Lay Me Down on a Bed of Roses. I think that's how they say it. I think it's Bon Jovi. I'm always wrong about this, though. Um, and then um, Guns... Gu Okay, it's not only going to be two more, Guns and Roses, and then that song. I I always get this song. I always get this song. To the window, to the wall, till sweat drop down. Da, 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 da. Okay, and then <laughs> there's a song, and it's coming in, and I love this music. I'm going to be honest with you. I love all music. Whistle while you twerk, <laughs> which is so funny because whenever I hear that song, it makes me think of like little hip hop gangster dwarfs, like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, whistle while you twerk. And then I think of these little dwarfs just like <laughs> being little. <laughs> 
<laughs> that gives a whole new meaning to dark and sleepy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Pull it together, girl. Just pull it together. Okay, I want to thank everybody uh, in the YouTube, in the chat right now. Mo, hey Mo, Mo Lev L. Hey, Genevieve, Rebecca, Heather. Hey, Heather. Terry's here. Uh, Maris is here. Michelle Dennis is here. Um, if I do not say your name, I apologize so much. Please forgive me. Um, I'm kind of scrolling rather quickly through all the names to get Fawn is here to get to try to get through. Now I'm going to start taking callers again. The number is 845-277-9131. Um, if you have a question, hit the one and I will get to you as soon as I can. I will still be paying attention to the, um, the chat and um, trying to answer questions in the chat, answer questions on the call log, and we will see what we come up with. Yes, we will. Um, okay, 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 here we go. 860, what's Hello. your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony, it's Amla, I have another question, how are you? I'm good, how are you and what's your question? Oh, thank you. Um, so this this kind of it's been a wonky it's a word for August, but um, my friend I'm gonna call him Jay. It's been um, top teacher. We were just friends, and I I just had to basically set boundaries with him. My question is, do you feel like he'll come back to me and we'll work it out, or is it was it just? something that it's just unraveling on its own now i okay so here's what i'm gonna say i'm not, if he comes back you're gonna have to reestablish boundaries i do feel like he's a person that will take this break kind of ghost or take a time out and then think he's showing you or punishing you and when he comes back you're just gonna be so pleased pleased as punch he brought his happy little but back that you're oh. just going to put up with his put up again. And I say, no, I say grow up or get out. Um, I feel like this is the type of person it's like when a mom scolds a little boy and then he goes in his room and pouts and then comes back out again. But I feel like you will continually have to reestablish boundaries with this person. I do not feel like they are going to respect what you're asking because they just can't. Some people get into like, I'm at this point in my life. This is who I am. Take it or leave it. And they don't want to change because it works with everybody else. So why should they change? And if they don't change and it doesn't work with everybody else, they can just find another person to do it with. Somebody brand new who doesn't know their little um, whatever we want to call it yet. And it's not, it's, and you know, it's really to the men listening. It's women and men. Right now, this is a woman asking about a man. So that's the way I'm addressing it. But I am going to say this very honestly and very uh, bluntly. Women be acting a fool and men be acting a fool. We all act the fool at some point, and some of us can 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 cannot act a fool at some point. But in this case, Amla, I feel like when he comes back, um, yeah. I do feel like you are going to have to really hold that line. And say, listen, we had a discussion about that because you will have to correct it again. And you can't even let it slide, not even for a second. If he disappears again, just don't let him back in again because that's the most annoying thing. Um, yeah. yeah. You don't need a roundaway yeah. boy who's like disappearing, coming back. 
that's somebody who's who's using their presence or absence in your life as a form of manipulation. Oh, you tried to correct me? I'm going to disappear. How do you like that? I actually like it a lot. I like it a lot. I'm at peace. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. It's nice not yeah. having somebody disturb my... Wow. Could you, could, could, can we negotiate how long you stay gone this time? So yeah, just put your, make your piece a priority, make the way you're treated a priority and go forward with that. Okay, love. That sounds great. I just reiterate just one thing is that this, this is the second time. It's funny because if he comes back and tries to, it's, it would be the third time. So uh, how many times do you have to touch a hot stove to know it's hot? Right? Listen, there you go. after the first, if listen, we're not playing three strikes, you're yeah. out anymore. Either you come correct or you don't get to come. And I mean that however yeah. everybody wants to take it. However, it, it let it get in where it fit in. You come correct or you just do not get to come, at least not to with for me. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Yes. Um, there's no need once you've told somebody. Thank you so, so much. And I think that Karma Chameleon song was for me. I love that song. So thank you <laughs> is that, that because the statement is you come and go? <laughs> you come and go. I'm joking online. I'm so joking. I love that. I like that song too. I really do. Okay, sweetie, you are welcome. Yes. You have an amazing day and we will chat soon. Okay. Thank you. God bless. Thank you. God bless, Amla. Okie dokie. I'm going to check and see. Uh, Genevieve, my cousin passed last Friday. Her name is Renee. Um, how How is she? Any message? Uh, Genevieve, I am so sorry for your loss. Um, Genevieve, Renee, 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 Renee. Um, Genevieve, the first thing I want to say is she is at peace. Is very soft spoken right now. I don't know how she was at li at life in life. Um, she is very. Your cousin, your cousin is very peaceful, very calm, very soft spoken right now. Very soft spoken, just like, <sighs> like. The weight of the world was lifted, which it literally was. Genevieve, I'm getting a uh, bit of a, what would be for me an accent? Um, I know you're from Canada, Genevieve. So I feel like, but there's a uh, languages and I'm using languages here. And uh, one of the things um I'm hearing that song, It's a Whole New World. And then I'm also getting the statement of It's Time for Me to Fly, that song. And then the next thing that I'm hearing is there's so much to grasp, so much to take in. So much to grasp, so much to take in. Genevieve, I do hope that is helpful and brings some peace to you. Um, but everything is good. She is ex ascending as she should. Okay, post your questions in the YouTube chat. I'm going back to the call log. If you would like to call in, the number is 845-277-9131. If you'd like a question, um, my website is tonig.info, tonyg.info. I'm going to go to 415. 415, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Kate. Hey, Kate. How are you today? Good. I haven't been around. It's so nice to be able to hear your show again. Oh, awesome. And I've been in my hometown and kind of going through things. And so, of course, I've been uh, thinking of my dad because, you know, this is what I was with him when he passed away. So, a lot of those memories coming up and if any messages from my dad, Bob would be great. 
So the first thing that he wants to say, and it's so funny, as soon as you tapped in, I don't know where this is coming from, Kate, because this doesn't seem like it would be a message for you. However, because it started to come in while you were on yeah. the phone with me, I'm going to say it. And while you're asking, there's many levels to, to, to rock bottom. Okay. Now this may not be specifically for you, but for someone that you're associating with your meeting okay. or somebody that pops up from the past, there's many levels mm, to right. rock bottom. Now, if this has to do with a family member, do not get in, do not pitch in. Sometimes I say, not me, them. We have to let others learn their lessons. And if we keep bailing people out, we mm -hmm. keep shoveling out their shayala and not letting them sit in right. it, they do not learn that lesson. We're just prolonging the inevitable mm -hmm. while taking on their burdens. Um, if someone comes to you with a story and a song, and we all know how that goes, a dum diddle dum, dum diddle dee. <laughs> can, can you do for me? Uh, no, uh, no, I cannot. No, can you do for you? Because I got to do for me, so you go do for you. It's all time for us to put on our big boy and girl pantaloons and get out there and work it. Um, and I, here's what I'm going to say. No matter what story, who they use, I got kids I need to feed. Oh, you know where the food bank is? It's right over there. The food bank is right over. Do not feel guilty doing this. Do not feel guilty doing this for whomever this person is. For whomever this person is. Um, I feel like it's a... Um, Again, I'm just going to say it like this, and I do not want anyone to think I am insensitive. There are so many organizations out there to help with rent, electric, phone, um, health, insurance, uh, food. You And then on top of organizations that will give you some kind of food card, there are food banks and churches everywhere just everywhere. So I am not being insensitive. This specific person that we are speaking of kind of runs game on a lot of different people. And so the answer is a clear and solid, I don't think so, but thank you anyway. I'll be praying for you. I'll be praying for you. Um, <clears throat> so that is the message I'm getting for you. And I don't know why it's quite a unique message for you, love. I've not had to give you any message like that ever before, but that is it. That's where we are with you, love. Oh. Yeah, that person hasn't come yet, but thanks. So I'll keep my eye out. Yeah, hopefully... Hopefully, now I am going to say this, Kate, if this message is not for you, it could be for somebody else listening. It could be for five other people listening right now. Kate, I do want to tell yeah. you that oh, yeah. your, your dad does say thank you and he loves you and he's really grateful for everything. Um, and um, keep, <laughs> it's, so, it's so funny the way he's saying this is keep on keeping on. So if that makes sense to you, I hope it does, okay? Yes, yes. Now that sounds more, Kate, that sounds so much more like your messages, yes. but we never know, yes. right? We never, ever know. But keep on keeping on, okay, Kate? Thank you, yeah. And then, I know that um, Snoopy, like our family, my dad gave us Snoopy cards, and that's oh. like an old... Peanuts game card. So I know exactly that's what I, it is. <laughs> I love that. So thank goodness that came through. What I am also hearing is keep yeah. tra travel while you can. So if it's doing the house sitting, dog sitting, whatever it's doing, keep travel yeah, while right. you can. 
And that song, Around the World, Around the World, which I'm singing completely yeah, offbeat. Yeah, well, well, uh, I love that one. Yes. <laughs> so that comes in to great. just confirm. I, that. I wasn't sure. Wherever you can go, whatever you can do, just do it. Just do it. Just go and do it. Okay. Oh, that's exactly what I needed today. So thank you for you that. You got are, exactly my, like, say, should I stay or should I go? So thank you for that. <laughs> I love that. I love it. I feel like you should, while you can, see what you can. Yeah. Okay? I love it. Excellent. Great. Excellent. Right. I'll keep this thing. Excellent. Thank you, Kate. Okay, guys, a couple quick things. I do want to bring this up again. There are other countries that will pay you to relocate to them. Greece, Italy, Sicily, Sicily and Italy are kind of connected. And in Italy, you can find homes that are like one euro, 10,000 euros. Yeah, they need a little bit of work and, you know, it's a different type of life there. But there are areas in these countries that, you know, they have aged out. Um, the young people didn't want to stay. And um, the more um, mature people have are passing away. And as long as you can work from home remote with your company, this might be a great opportunity. Or if you want to start bed and breakfasts, breakfasts in other countries, this may be a great opportunity also. So having said that, if you're in a position to do something like that, it might be very, very exciting to be in a situation where you can have a property in another country, be working on it, and then, you know, possibly going back and forth or whatever it is, however it works for you personally. I will say there are a lot of things coming in that are going to be changing for everyone. Stay strong is where I'm going to leave that. Um, I think your name is Tanita. Tanita. Hey, Tanita. How are you? Welcome to the show. Um, Lolly, how are you? Dennis asked a question earlier if there was a message for him. Uh, he lost the love of his life, did not get to talk to her before she left. I'm so sorry, Dennis. Um, what I'm going to say, Dennis, put her name in the chat. Put her name in, in the chat. We'll try to connect with her and see what we can get. Um, Isabella, how are you? Um, and if you do have a question, post it in the chat and I will try to get to that question in between, um, calls here. So, uh, Dennis, her name was Diane. So Diane, what would you want to tell? Um, the first thing that comes in Dennis is that song and I, it's by, uh, is it Whitney? Um, I will always love you. And I cannot sing, but I especially cannot sing that. And then um, the the song Smooth Criminal by Michael Jackson comes in right on the heels of that. Um, and then she wants you to know she's okay. She's at peace. She's home. She has been um, re-evaluating things. And as I am channeling her, there's a lot of, um, this is gross, folks, and I apologize, but my there's like a lot of saliva in my mouth or I feel like I'm, there's something going on there. So I don't know if that was something with her or not, but that's a, that should be some sort of confirmation with you or for you. I just feel like I'm, it just feels un, actually very weird and uncomfortable. I'm afraid like I'm actually going to drool or something. It's the weirdest thing. And then Dennis, the other thing that she would want to say to you is she is watching out for you or she's looking out for you. I'm looking out for you. I'm looking out for you. And something with a chicken, she's showing me, I think it's a chicken, maybe it's a rooster. I don't know. 
doesn't matter. But something with like a chicken running around, <laughs> running around like maybe with a chicken with its <laughs> head. But that's the message I'm getting for you, Dennis. I hope that that was helpful. Hey, Ariel. Um, I'm going to go to, um, uh, hey, Margaret. I'm going to go to uh, callers. The next caller is 614 and then 203. It's going to be you. 614, what's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Hilton and I'm calling from Ohio. How can I help you today, love? I I moved in with my aunt recently because I, I thought it would help me financially. Um, but now I'm not sure if she if this if it was a good idea. Sometimes I feel like um, a light, a little bit unwanted. I don't know if I'm misinterpreting that. So maybe I was wondering if you could see if that was the case or not. Okay, so the first thing that I'm getting is, um, yeah, I I can feel exactly what's going on here. Okay, no matter how much you love someone, even if it's a partner situation where you're living with a girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, we get we get we have to have clear boundaries and set roles, and we have to do things to help each other know and feel appreciated. Just because you're younger doesn't mean she wants to take on a mother role. Not that you're making her do that. Please don't come at me. Just saying. Um, always offer something it, um, to show gratitude and appreciation. Now, I'm also going to say this. At a certain point, um, Just and, and I apologize for anybody this is uncomfortable for, no, I don't. I don't. You, if we have to go through it, you can listen to it. Um, just like when women are younger, they have that once a, once a month cycle, uh, women who might be a little bit more mature and starting uh, menopause, premenopause, oh, that can do a number on a woman. So please be aware of that also. And just, you know, treat her as much like a friend and with respect as possible and always let her know um, that you are grateful. And if there's anything you can do to help out, um, that you're happy to do that. Okay, sweetie. I do feel like everybody wants to be appreciated and acknowledged in every way. And that's kind of what I'm picking up here. Nobody even though she wants to help you out financially, nobody wants to take on a whole nother person. Um, when people move in together, they have an idea in their mind of what it, it's going to look like. And I think the two of you need to, to just uh, become more bonded and more friend-like and just always um, appreciate it. Okay, sweetie? Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much for calling in, okay. and I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you. You are welcome. Um, I am going to go to 203 next. Please hold on. I am going to answer a question online first, and that question, I'm just going to the next question that I see because there's questions all the way up. Um, Isabella is asking, hi, Tony, do you think it's better to sell my condo now within the next couple months or early next year? I instantly hear now, but make sure whatever you're going to do next, you already have that secured. Make sure you're getting a really good price for your condo and it's fair, but also make sure you have your next step or next place secured. It's really important that you do that because in the housing market right now, there's just not a lot of good inventory that is logically and or reasonably priced. Okay, I'm going to go to 203. 203, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Tony. Hi, Tony. It's Pat from Connecticut. Hey there, how can I help you? Oh, hi. 
Hi, Tony. Um, I'm not sure. Can you hear me? I can. Oh, good. <laughs> um, I have a question. You're great with boundaries and communication. Um, there's a woman I bought some services from, and she has about a few weeks ago tried to compare those services, which I've not used yet, to a gift that she gave me and to totally devalue what's owed me. I've been, you know, ruminating on how to cut ties with her. I really would like to point out what she's done. Um, can you help me as far as how to communicate with her, what to say? Okay, so first of all, make sure you get all of your services that you have paid for. Second, no matter what you say at this point, I, you know, I'm going to say this and, um, and it, it, here's what I'm going to say. It's crazy the way some people have been behaving is so I just don't get it lately, but I do. I know why yeah. people are behaving the way they are. By the way, you guys, look up the patent. By the way, thank you, Pat. I'm just going to divert just for one second. Look up the patent on personality control with 5G. Oh! <clears throat> You think it's not possible. It is. It is. Um, here's what I am going to say. I'm going to say the best thing for you to do is ask a therapist question. Treat it. When, if she does or says th something that alludes to the fact that she is her services are a gift to you. You can ask one of two ways. You can simply say, why would you, why are you saying that like that? But with a curiosity, not with a cockiness, curiosity uh, puts a person's guard down. Cockiness will make them hang up on you. So if you go, huh, can you please explain that? Why, why would you say that that way? Or what do you mean by that? Uh I did that. Okay, and then totally then get you, you know what? Get your services and get out and let it go. You cannot change the way people behave. We've learned this from friends and partners and bosses, family members. We cannot change the way that people behave. That so make sure you get your services and then move on and let this be a very good, very good lesson. Okay, love. Um, it's money owed, so ask to be reimbursed. Uh, yes, absolutely. And if you paid through PayPal, okay. you can just ask for a refund there. PayPal is really good. Okay. And explain it to them and just go with that, okay? Do you have any insight into why she did this? It doesn't matter. It's who she is. Um... Okay. It really, I'm going to say this and I cannot be um, more clear about this. Most of us have noticed that the way people are behaving, if we're observant in any way, we have noticed that the way people is, are behaving has dramatically changed over the past couple of years. I don't care why they have, but we all change from day to day. What I would say to you, love, is to just get your money back and move on and just realize some sometimes the lesson is ours, sometimes the lesson is theirs, sometimes the lesson is everybody's, and we just move on. We don't, we can't, we can't hold on to that. Um, Sal wants to know. Uh, for not giving, <laughs> sounds like me not feeling bad for not giving to the people with signs in front of stores saying lost job, need rent money. Yeah. You know what, Sal, I'm going to tell you a story. <laughs> um, if you offer those people work, they don't want it. My stepfather, 
um, has a, a very successful, very high-end um, painting company where he um, goes in and does very beautiful work on the inside of people's homes. But he trains people. He will work with people if they don't know what they're doing. And he would always say, listen, I see I'm, I, I could give you money one time and that's only going to help you today, but I'm, I'm going to offer you a job. Here's my card. Call me or just show up at this place and I will get you started with work. Yet they never, ever, never, ever show up. Never. Um, I have a friend that was uh, going inside of a uh, drugstore uh, years and years and years ago. And some, this person in new shoes, jeans, dressed very well, was this man, full grown man was asking this woman for money. And, um, and, uh, she said, if you're willing to work for the money, the way I did, I will give you this money. And they straight out said, no, they're so used to people just giving them money for asking and looking pitiful. Most of them, not all of them, most of them don't even feel like they should have to do anything for it. Not even say thank you. So Sal, you are right. And I'm not an insensitive whatever person, um, but I'm also the type of person that believes I will help you find work. I will tell you where to go find work. I will offer you work. I will tell you where there's food. But that if you're not willing to get up and go do that, then you don't want the money as much as the next person. You don't want the food as much as the next person. And those people who sit and beg, they make hundreds of dollars a day. Some of them, not all of them some of them. All righty, I'm going to go to the next two. And there's another caller that's 203. 203, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. This is Michelle from Georgia. Hey, Michelle, how can I help you? Um, sorry about my hoarse voice. It's okay. Um, it's okay. Well, um, I found out that, uh, yeah, my job is not going to work out. They 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 want me to either relocate to California, which I'm not going to do, or I'm going to be out of a job. So it looks like I'm going to be out of a job. So I just wanted to know uh, when you thought I might get another job and if it was going to be a good one. Okay. I write away here tomorrow. Now, I don't know what that means, Michelle, but I do feel like there is something coming in very quickly. There's something coming in that you don't know about. I do feel like if you, I don't know if it's within your company or not. However, um, I agree with the not going to California. I agree with that 1 million percent. I feel like within this month, I was going to say week, they wanted to say week. And then I, I was like, oh, I, I don't I don't feel confident saying this week. And they're like, OK, say month, month. Well, at the end of this week is the end of the month. So within this month, within this week, you're going to find something you're truly, truly excited about. Um, and I do, I feel like you're going to get an offer really, really soon. Now I'm not sure if it's from the same company or a new company or a, a, a mother company or a sister company of this, but you're going to get an offer very, very soon. And I feel like it's, um, they're calling it a lateral move, doing the same thing, but in a different place. And you're just going to, you're going to love it. You're going to love the people you work with. Well, well, well as a work from home thing? If you, I hear if you want it to be, um, I'm not sure, but I feel like if you want it to be, it might be. But I, I am hearing the word travel, so I don't know if that means every once in a while you're going to have to travel or travel for the work. I'm not sure. 
but um i would say just get on get on the computer search companies that you want to work for search uh, remote positions and see what you come up with okay love okay hey thanks so much <laughs> you you are so welcome and i hope your throat feels better soon love thank you <laughs> bye bye you are welcome again and um please take care of your throat i love to put some honey like a teaspoon of honey it's a bit much in your mouth but just let it um be on your throat it has such a powerful antibacterial in it it's amazing okay seven two zero you're going to be next um maris um Somebody said, where, where is it? Somebody said it was Tainita. Um, Tainita was saying that she couldn't post. So Tainita, 845-277-9131. If you have a question, call in. If you're having trouble posting a question in the, um, in the chat, just call in. I have, um, yeah, she said her message keeps disappearing and I'm not seeing it. I see three messages from you. I'm so sorry, love. Um, okay, I'm going to go to the next caller, 720-720. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Lola. I'm calling from Virginia. Hey, Lola. How can I help you today? Yeah, good, good. Um, I am just wondering what you see um, as far as career for me. Okay, can I, I'm just going to ask you a couple quick questions just so I can get to your answer more quickly. I ask them in my head, but it's just faster if, if I don't have to. Are you working right now and what are you doing or wanting to do? Um, well, I work um, just part-time in the schools, um, but I'm putting my feelers out for other um, endeavors Okay. As well. One of, and thank you for that. I feel like one of the things I'm hearing, yeah, yeah. one of the things I'm hearing is self-employed. Um, now, I think obviously keep your day job, keep your school job or wherever else you land, keep that. I do feel like something's coming in that's going to allow you to work like on your own or for yourself. And I do feel like, and I know this sounds a little bit weird. I'm not getting an exact of what it is, but it's, it's, I think it's something that involves some sort of creativity or crafting or craftiness. I don't know. Um, and I'm laughing because what I'm seeing is an, just I see a CD, which I know most people are like, what's a CD? Nobody uses CDs anymore. But I see I know a, what a CD is. I know yeah, what I a CD. Know. I love CDs. Um, uh, I see a CD. I so I don't know if you're going to start to create something like, and again, just because I see a CD, it doesn't mean you have to create it on the CD. You could use YouTube. You could use um, GarageBand. If you're going to create something that would be uh, that that in the day could have been put on a CD, like music uh, or or uh, uh, meditations or 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 hypnosis or suggestives or how to's you can create a youtube channel you can create cds you can you can create any of that what i'm getting but i am seeing that that is the yeah. first thing i am seeing is these cds so to me it's something it's like the the spoken something you speak into and whatever venue you use is fine. They're just showing it as a CD for that like presentation. Exactly. Thank you. Now you can literally put it on a CD and also 
pipe it out to people 1 million percent. And I love that. I, I still have hypnosis CDs I put out there. But I feel like it's something that's very creative. It could be anything from doing comedy to doing this to doing that. I do feel like you're going to have a venue. And a venue can, again, be anything like being on YouTube, being on, you know, um, on, on just on CDs or, or eventually, you know, showing up and showing out. Whatever it is, this is a like a side thing where you are out there and they're, they're, they're being super funny, doing it and doing it and doing it good, doing it. I'm I just sorry. Uh, but that that is the, the song that comes through. So whatever this is and for whatever genre or age group you're doing it for, it's going to be amazing. Okay. Maybe... You know, maybe you're a comedian for kids or maybe you're a, I don't know what it is. I'm just throwing no. things out there. You do what you do. Okay, love? Okay. Okay. Do you have a timeline for that at all? Um, I, well, since I, it's your own I, thing. I do have a job. Um, since it's your own thing, you can start it now you can start at any time and run with it i do feel like you're going to have a new opportunity for new employment coming in next month which is september which is going to be at a new space is what i'm hearing okay sweetie right right okay thank thank you so much you are so welcome you have an amazing rest of the day you too. All right. Bye. Mm, bye bye. I'm going to go to Tainita. Um, uh, reward. Uh, Tainita, uh, any, my message keeps disappearing. And then I see, uh, let me reword it. I'm in South Africa. Difficult to call. Any message for me from my boyfriend that's passed? Tanita, while I start to give your answer, could you please put his name in the chat just so that I can have a have a, a name to connect with? Um, um, Ricardo. Okay, Tanita. The first thing he says is, it wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault. Almost like I didn't do it. It wasn't my fault. That's the place he was in or whatever it was. If there was something between the two of you or something, the most important message for him to get across to you right now is it wasn't his fault. He didn't do it. It wasn't my fault. Please give me a yes or a no if you know what that means. Whether that was about you two or how we passed or whatever was going on now or in the past with him, he just, the most important thing that he immediately comes in saying is, it wasn't my fault, it wasn't my fault, it wasn't my fault, and then I didn't do it. The next thing he wants to say is, um, I'm sorry. He is acknowledging, however, I should have done things differently. I should have. Now, when I say this, I'm going to say it like this, Tanita, I should have taken a different road or a different path. This could mean in life, or this could mean literally he should have taken a different path. Okay, I hope that makes sense to you. And then he wants you to know, he says, but ju just enough of that, but just enough of that. Tell her, um, and then this song comes in, tell her I love her, tell her I miss my baby. And that is a song, and those are the words he's giving me. Oh, won't you tell her? And then I'm going to cry because these are his emotions, not mine. He should have been softer and kinder and more loving. And he should have just let you know when he had the opportunity how amazing you are. And oh, Jesus, Jesus, how much he loved you. And he should have shown his softer side instead of always like pumping up, like pumping up his 
just being that man, you know, that man, you got to be that man. You got to, you got to be rough. You got to be tough. So nobody can like, uh, take advantage of you. No one's going to get one over. I'm, I'm so sorry. This is just the way he's coming through. But he really does want you to know that you were his everything. You were just his everything. And now you'll, he'll never be able to show you. He'll never be able to give that to you and show that to you. And this is, you know, this is where I'm just going to jump in and say, see, folks, see, don't wait until this moment to let your guard down and tell somebody you love them and show them that you love them. Don't be that person that feels like you have to get them before they get you or run that game or live in your ego and then have to try to prove after the fact to somebody how much you love them and make them live with that. Don't, don't be that person. He wants you to know he is going to be watching out for you, but don't um, spend don't spend your time waiting, like having, it's okay to, it's okay to be okay when you're okay. And it's okay to move on when you move on. He completely understands. And as a matter of fact, and these are his words. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to help to bring somebody really good to you because you deserve somebody very, very good. You deserve somebody so good. Somebody that will be better to you than I could have been to you. Okay. Whoo. Okay. Tainita, thank you for being here. I'm here every Monday at noon central, every Wednesday at 7 p.m. And I know there are so many people in here. I did not get to, I want to say hi to a few people. Maris, I'm sorry I didn't get to your message. Um, and then uh, Mo and first name, last name, and misinformed. I will be back Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Time. I, I can't get to everybody and your questions today. And for those who called in that I didn't get to, I'm so, so sorry. I do want to give some business ideas because there are some business ideas that have been coming to me that I need to get out to people. Little food places. So whether that means uh, not full on restaurants, these are transportation food, ways to do food and transportation, like, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, a grill on the go. So whether this is a food truck or you literally have like, a, a, I'm going to say it a, like how I'm seeing it, a vehicle or a, um, a bike with a grill and a, a, like, a, like a hibachi grill, whatever, and you're serving up food as you go to a, a space and do it. Okay, make sure you're licensed. Um, uh, I'm also getting for business transportation. Anything in transportation over the next six months is going to boom. And there's going to be new opportunities with transportation. So please take up some trans. Look at how you can innovate transportation needs for people. How you can innovate transportation needs for people. Okay, that's going to be really important. If you start it within the six months, you're going to have that floor opportunity, that ground opportunity seconds. that's just going to take off. And then somebody is going to meet somebody at a wedding within the next, huh, within the next, I get four days, but I'm going to say within the next, well, by the end of the month, somebody's going to meet somebody at a wedding and it's going to be their life partner. Okay, everybody. Thank you to everybody who has liked, followed, shared. Thank you so much. I love each and every one of you so much. I will be back Wednesday at 7 p.m. Seconds. Oh, the pressure. If you, if I did not get to your question, hey, Anne, um, if I did not get to answer your question or your call, please come back and join me then. Thank you so much, everybody. Have an amazing rest of the day.